Now let's do one more example. Now this chord progression will have Do and T chords, just like the last one, but we're also going to have a Re chord in there as well. Now let's review our Do chords. Our Do chords are 1, 4, and also we're going to listen for a 6 chord, which is a minor triad, but these are our three Do chords. Our T chords, we are just going to be listening for our 5 chord again. So that's our only option for a T. And then our Re chord is a 2. And that's our only Re chord ever. So this progression is going to be 7 uh, chords long. So we're going to write 7 dashes. And again, we start by tonicizing. And then the first time we hear the progression, we'll sing Do. And if it is consonant with the chord we're hearing, we know it's a Do chord. If it's not, we just skip it and go on to the next one. So here we go. Let's tonicize first. Do, Mi, So, La, So, Fa, Re, Ti, Do. So here's our Do. 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 No. Do. All right. So we have four Do chords, and we still have some blanks. So this time, we're going to now sing the T and see if that matches up with any of our chords that we don't know yet. So let's time size again, and then we'll hold out the T. Do, Mi, So, La, So, Fa, Re, T, Do. So that T is what we'll be holding out. That's our Do. Here's our T. That matches. Let's do again. Another do. Let's see, this is a T. T. No. T. Ah, that one is a T. Alright, so we have do chords and T chords, and we still have a blank one. So we can probably assume this is going to be a Re chord. Um, one tip is that if you have a, a blank blank space before a T chord that's not a Do chord, it's going to be a Re chord. Re chords often come right before a T chord, particularly a 2 going into a 5. And another tip, I often see this, is I our students putting a Re chord as the second to last chord, like Re to Do. That never happens, at least not uh, in RL Skills 1 or RL Skills 2. Um, so if you hear a Re happening here, it's not going to be a Re. It's more likely going to be a T. But Re's usually come before T's. So let's uh, sing this Do, T, Re line with the progression. So we'll sing Do, T, Do, Do, Re, T, Do, just to make sure that our Do, T line is correct. Do, T, Do, Do. We'll sing Re right here. Re, T, Alright, so let's figure out our Roman numerals. Our T chord, we know it's a 5, because that's our only choice. And we know our Re chord is a 2 chord, since that's our only choice. We can also assume that our beginning and ending Do chords are 1 chords. So just through a process of elimination, we're able to figure out most of the Roman numerals, except for these two Do chords. Now let's look again at our three possible choices. Notice that our 1 and 4 chord are both major, and our 6 chord is minor. Now this brings us to the important topic of quality. And by quality, I mean the if the chord is major or minor. So the quality of the chord is if it's major or minor. Now if when we're listening for our Do chords, uh, if we hear a minor chord and it has a Do in it, we know automatically that it's a 6 chord, because that's our only minor chord option. So let's listen to this progression one more time, and when we get to these Do chords, one, let's see if it's a one chord, since we should be able to hear that Do, Mi, So in our head, and if it's not one of those, see if that triad is either major or minor, because if it's minor, we know it's going to be a six. Do, Mi, So, that's our one chord. It's our T chord, now listen to this one. Do, Mi, So, oh, that's our one chord. Hmm. That didn't sound like our one chord, and it sounded like a minor triad, so that would be our sixth chord. 
Now this takes some practice being able to hear the difference between a major and minor chord. And so you might not be able to hear it right away, but the more we practice and the more you work on this, you'll begin to be able to hear how these chords work and how the major and minor sound different than the others. All right, so let's fill in the chord changes. If, uh, so we're again, we're in the key of F. So it's an F chord, followed by a C, F. This is going to be a D minor. Make sure you make your M small. And then this is going to be G minor, C, and then F. Now, by just listening for three pitches, Do, T, and Re, and knowing what chords uh, have those pitches in them, we're essentially using a process of elimination to dictate harmonies. And with this method, we can pretty much transcribe by ear most any chord progression. Now, we'll eventually add the soprano and bass voice into the dictation, but for now, I hope these two videos have given you a good foundation on how the Do, T, Re line works.